Hello, and welcome to the new Aviation Weather Center website. This site will replace the existing aviationweather.gov website on October 16th, 2023. And you may be asking yourself, what does this mean for me? Let's go over what you need to know. This website is designed with a mobile-first approach and is mobile responsive to accommodate use on phones, tablets, and desktops. There is also a dark mode feature for if the screen is just too bright. Click the person icon at the top right to toggle light and dark mode. You'll also notice a sign-in option under the person icon. An account is not needed to use the website. However, if you're a pilot or dispatcher, you will need an account to submit PIREPS. If you had an account on aviationweather.gov, use that login information and you'll be prompted to change your password on your first login here. The site has been restructured and you may notice some of your bookmarks no longer work. Check out the URL page found by using our help pages under the question mark at the top and using the URL tab. With this upgrade, all of the interactive maps and many of the individual products have been combined into one tool, the Graphical Forecast for Aviation, or GFA. You can access this tool by selecting any of the options under Weather and some of the options under the Products dropdown. The map is customizable, so you can add or subtract layers, change how the data is displayed in the map options, as well as changing the base map. The Java Application Flight Path tool has been removed and you can now view cross-sections through GFA by selecting the Route button. Watch this video for more information on this feature. View legends on the page at the bottom under the circled eye icon. The Helicopter Emergency Medical Services, or HEMS tool, is now part of GFA as a low-altitude mode. Select the helicopter icon to view low-altitude data. There are many more pages to explore, and I encourage you to use the help pages and tutorial videos to learn more. If you have any other questions, use the envelope icon at the top or in the hamburger dropdown on a mobile device. 